Hello, I'm Andrew Harnett with Haas Automation. In this video, we're going to take a look at fixing a problem that a lot of you are probably familiar with, but maybe one that you don't spend that much time thinking about. That problem is coolant mist. Now, coolant mist is okay when it's contained inside of your enclosure. The problem comes along when it's time to unload your part. I open my door, and out comes this billowing cloud of mist. Now, I don't want to breathe the coolant that's in that air, so I'm either going to stand back and let it dissipate, or I'm going to get in here with the air gun and blow it out of the way. Either way, I'm wasting time. What I should be doing is getting in there, reloading my part, and running it. So, that's the reason that Hassan engineers spent some time designing a new system to reduce the amount of coolant mist inside the enclosure. Joining us today is Don Earl. He's the head engineer on this project, and he's going to tell us a little bit about it. Can we start off with kind of a basic description of how the unit works? Sure, Andrew. The unit works by pulling a vacuum on the inside of the enclosure. That's why when you open the door, the mist is pulled away from the operator instead of allowing it to enter into the operator's face. Now, there are a lot of systems like this on the market already. Why did Haas decide to do their own version of it? Well, we looked at a lot of those systems and simply thought, we can do better. Uh, for instance, the fan that we selected is a very robust, uh, low vibration fan that uh, pulls a strong vacuum. The filters that the unit uses can be cleaned uh, for reuse over and over again. Um, the unit itself is integrated with the Haas control, and so it runs seamlessly in the background while you're doing your work out onto the machine. So how often do I need to clean those filters? Well, that's a good question. Uh, that depends on the material that you're using or that you're cutting. Uh, if you're cutting uh, billet or aluminum, say, not very often at all. I mean, uh, we've run them for months and months in our own shop without having any kind of maintenance on them. But if you were to cut a, a material that has some particulate associated with it, say cast iron, then the particulate uh, from the cast iron, the dust would collect on the surface and they would require uh, more frequent cleaning. So how do I do that? Is it, are they hard to clean? Is it easy? No, not hard to clean at all. You simply would hose them off with a garden hose uh, to get them to be uh, uh, back into service again. But all I gotta do is just blast water through it and I'm, yep, I'm good? Run the hose through it and uh, you're good to go. Right That's great. In. Yep. So how do I know that I need to do that? Am I always gonna have to be checking these out all the time, pulling them down and taking a look at them? Well, that's, that's the beauty of the uh, product being integrated with the Haas Control. Unlike the other products that are on the market today, there is a uh, sensor that's associated with the fan and the filters, and it lets the operator know uh, on screen with an icon if the uh, filters require cleaning. Oh, and by the way, it's worth mentioning, if you want, you can even connect ducting to the top of the unit and vent it to the outside of your shop. Is this thing going to cost me a lot of money? I know some of these systems are, are quite expensive. How does ours uh, stack up that way? Well, that's one of the better features of the unit. It's about half the cost of an existing system that's on the market today. Wow, that's great. So a great design for half the price. That seems hard to beat. Yeah. So how do I get power to this unit? Do I need to run a separate uh, power drop? Do I need to have a, another switch somewhere else that I always have to turn off and on and all that? Right, well, unlike the competitors, the unit pulls power from the Haas Control. The uh, fan comes on with the spindle, and it turns off with the spindle as well. It's completely automatically. Yep, runs right. seamlessly in the background. That's fantastic. So the operator's staying at, out here in front of the machine, not even having to worry about any of it. Just it's right. running in the background. That's great. Um, so you saw earlier I was making this big coolant cloud you know, with this heavy cutting application here. Um, I obviously didn't have the, uh, the unit turned on. It would be great if we can turn this thing on and run this thing again and, and really watch how it works. Yeah, can we let's, do that? let's take a look at that. I'll go plug it in and you fire up the application. Cool, thanks a lot. So our part's running and we've got the exhaust system turned on. And this is the part of the, uh, the program where it's really making a lot of mist. Oh, yeah. Even looking through the window here, I, we've got some coolant, but I can see that the mist is getting pulled outside of the enclosure by the exhaust system. But uh, the real test here is what happens when we open the door. Cool. Wow, that looks great. This allows you to get the part out of the chuck quickly and get the next piece in and cutting. So there you have it. The enclosure exhaust system allows you to maximize your chip cutting time. That's what we're focused on here at Haas Automation. Thanks, Don. You're welcome, Andrew. 